Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you, how can you transform or extend your video to the next level, by using the Adobe AI generated fill. And it was the original frame of my video. Then I generated all these elements by using Adobe AI generated fill, and I'll show you step by step how I did it. So keep watching till the end. Inside Premiere Pro, here I've already added my vertical footage to the timeline. And I just randomly recorded this clip. Now I'm going to transform or extend this clip, by using AI Generative Fill. First we need to export a frame from this clip, so move the time indicator and choose the best frame to take a snapshot. In my case I like to take a snapshot of this frame. So click on this little camera icon to take a snapshot, or click on Ctrl plus Shift plus E. Then select the format as PNG and browse the place where you want to save this snapshot. And click on OK. To use the Adobe Generative Fill, we have to download the Photoshop beta version. So open the Adobe Creative Cloud, and click on Beta Apps, here you will get the Photoshop beta version. Then just open Photoshop beta. Now open the snapshot image in Photoshop beta. Now we are going to extend the image and change the frame size. So select the Crop tool, then right click on your mouse, Change the ratio to 16 by 9. Now pressing the Alt key, scale up the ratio and place your image at the center. Now click on the rectangular selection tool, and select this empty area. Then click on generative fill, let's keep it empty, so that it will automatically fill this area. You can see it looks good. But in my case I want to fill up this area. So we will get three different variations here. This one looks good, but let's generate one more time. I think this one is perfect for me. You can change the variations as you like from this panel. In this case, I am okay with it. Now, I want to add a pillow here, so let's select this area. Click on Generative Fill, and I'm gonna type here Pillow. Then just click on Generate. It's done. But not perfect yet. This one looks good. Let's generate the right part. So again select these area. Click on Generative Fill. And click on Generate but I'm not happy with this result. So let's generate it again. And select a variation that you like. So the next generative fill you'll get a similar result. Wow! I think this one looks perfect for me. Now I would like to add a big window here. So just type here a big window, and click on generate. It looks great. Let's check out the other variations. I love this one. But I want to remove this object. So select this area, and just click on generate, it will automatically remove the object. You can see, now it looks clean. You can change the variations to get a better look here. Now I'm okay with it. Let's add a paint artwork on this blank area. So select this area, and just type paint artwork. Then just click on generate. Let's see the other variations. I'm not much happy with these results. Let's generate more variations of this artwork. This one looks pretty good. Now over the painting, I want to add a hanging lamp. So go to Generative Fill, and type Hanging Lamp. Then click on Generate. It looks perfect for me. Let's add some glow on the light. So create a new layer. Then select the brush tool, and pick a color from this light. By holding on the Alt key. Then change the blending mode normal to screen. You can duplicate this layer to increase the glow. It looks nice but I want to decrease the opacity a bit. Now it looks perfect. So now, let's add a wall decor here, so select the area. You can see, the contextual taskbar is missing, so you can add this from the window panel. Now type wall decor. Click on generate. Let's check other previews. In my case, I am choosing the first one. On the table, I want to add a table mug. This one looks good. Let's add some notebooks on the sofa. And we have done it. Now let's check out the before and after. The preview looks perfect for me. Then just export your image by clicking on Alt plus Shift plus Ctrl plus W. Then going back to the Premiere Pro. So first, import the generated image in the project window. Now we need to change the sequence size same as the generated image. So right click on the generated image, then click on properties. Here you can see the image size. 
we just extended the width of this image, so just copy the width of this image. Then click on sequence, and go to the sequence settings. Now just paste the frame width here. And click on OK. Now drag your footage one track above. And add the generated image to the bottom layer. To watch the bottom layer properly, we need to create a mask around our subject. Select the video layer, decrease the opacity a little bit, so that we can see the bottom layer as well. Now select the pen tool and draw a mask around your subject. Change the opacity to 100%, and increase the mask feather to 50. Then adjust the image layer with your footage duration. Right now my sequence resolution is 8K, so I'm going to decrease the playback resolution, to watch a smooth preview. And as we can see that the generated image is perfectly matched with my video footage. Now I'm going to use a cinematic LUT preset to make it more perfect. To use the LUT preset, create an adjustment layer, then add this adjustment layer above on your clip. Select the adjustment layer, and go to Lumetri Color Panel. Open the Creative tab, and click on None to Browse. And you can check out my 15 cinematic LUT presets under the description link. Here I'm using the Cave Dweller LUT preset. Always use the LUT intensity 40-50% to 50 to get the perfect look of this LUT preset. So that's all for today, if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next one, have a nice day.